Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a small Shein haul. I did get some clothing, but I'll show that another day. Today I just want to show you the miscellaneous items that I got, and I put them in here in my black bag. So, let's see what I picked up from Shein. I got a whole bunch of different kind of things for the home, for crafting, and just miscellaneous. They have a, a lot of really good things if you just want to pick them up while you're shopping. So I got this. Um, this is the first one. This is by 3M and I'll open it up for you. I got three of them and it was at a good price. And I was shopping anyways and I was like, you know what, this will be good um, for me to use. So, so it has, again, it's by 3M as you can tell and it has a sticky back. And then you add that to your windowsill um, where there's some like little openings. It gives you a little bit more of a barrier during the winter. Um, also on doors uh, it just helps so I decided to go ahead and pick up three of these it was cheap it was at a good price and we needed it um, this rental can be a little drafty and for me not to have to hit the stores I don't have to expose myself unnecessarily have it sent right to my home why not and I was ordering stuff from them anyways so I got three packages you guys so that's going to help with things here at home. The next one is also by 3M. And I don't know if I got two of these or just one. I'm looking through my bag. I got two of them. Okay. These are, um, again, 3M. And what you do is, this is for doors. This is like a draft, stop, a draft stopper. So what you do, because you see how it has like the little plastic right there. It's not plastic, but it's like a soft rubber. Then you just take that off, and then you add it to the door, and it's like a draft stopper. Okay, so if you have a little bit of a draft situation, you could try to deal with it like that. I can hear you, buddy. Yeah, I know. I know. So I got two of those, because... They were at a very good price. Okay, and the next thing I got was this um, this clear tape right here. It, you don't get too much of it, but um, it's like a really good double-sided clear tape that's super strong. Again, you don't get too much of it. You can get more of this on um, Amazon, but it's a really good clear double-sided type of dealio for you to put things up. Then towards my crafting, I picked up this jewelry. You got four, as you could tell, four wires here. I, it come, it came with the red. I want to say I said a red. Yeah, that's like a red, a purple wire. It came with this. Um, it's like a pinky, and then with the regular brass. And this is copper. I bought it so I can use it not only to make jewelry but for dollhouse miniatures as well. And as you guys know, wire can be kind of pricey. There's one that was already kind of loose. Here we go. This one was already, that one was already out there. So this is going to work out nicely. Um, it's going to work out good. You're not going to be able to bend it around too much because it's not terribly, terribly thick. It's not that kind. But it's going to do the job. It is a point, um, point four right there. And it's a fairly good amount, especially if you want to just do some charms or if you're doing some tassels or something for some of your projects or your books or for friend mail. It's good for that. Oh, look, and I did have another one of these, um, the three in ones for the, for the windows and stuff in there. I did. Okay. So the next one I'm going to share with you is more on a crafty side. Uh, it's this little pack right here, and it came just like that. And that's what it looks like in the back, and it says, have a good day. And this is for, you know, making parts or paper crafts. And let me try to take it off so you guys can see. Um, it's nice paper, but it's supposed to, you're supposed to have several of each kind. Let's see. So you get several, I guess like five sheets of each. Okay. Then this is the other pattern for it. And they have a lot of really nice papers. Okay. And then this one like that. And then you have these that are like vellum. I don't know if you guys can see those very well. But these are like vellum. 
and they do have different designs. Um, has that design, if you can see that, that's a different design. And then this one's a different design right here, if you can see that vellum. So it's a nice little package. I think I paid a dollar or two for this. Um, yeah, I was down with it. Like I said, I was shopping and why not? I was ordering stuff and I like to get the miscellaneous stuff right along with it, bing, bing, boom. So I don't have to go to Michael's and, or go to AliExpress or anything else. If I could just pick it up from there, why not? There we go. So I got that one. Then I did pick up this one. They had these really pretty detailed scissors. Um, as you can tell, it's really pretty. It's like in this rainbow color. And it even has like this beautiful detailing on there. As you can see right there. It's like a rainbow kind of color. It's really pretty. Um, it was cheap. And I bought it for detail cutting. Then I got this really cool package of charms and these are different type of leaves. And my nails look like a hot mess. I've been out and doing stuff out here. So I have to excuse my nails. It's a whole bunch of different kinds, you guys. So this is just an example of some of the leaves. And you can see you can use them for charms and what have you. Look at that. And there's different, more, even more in here. It's a nice big bag and it's very heavy. Um, so again, this is great for, yes, not only charms, jewelry making, um, anything that you really, truly making cards, anything. This is good for anything, including picture frames, um, presents, using them on tags. And it was at a good price. And it, look at the, it even has this bigger, chunkier ones. If you guys can see the bigger, chunkier ones right there. Okay, so it was a nice amount. Then I know I got two, as these were just a dollar. And I was like, wow, they got these really nice, really nice beads just for a buck. This is crazy. So I'm going to show you. I only got like two colors, no, three colors of the beads yeah that's the same one that's the same one and to get them for a dollar you can't even touch them at michael's for a buck you guys not even on sale honestly so these are the different colors that i picked up okay so this is the first one um very pretty and it's like this dark uh, i don't even know if i can open it up for you guys it's like this dark cranberry burgundy color yeah, and it has a really pretty, beautiful color to it, and a little faceting. Okay, so I got two of those. Then I got two of this one. I'm to pull it out so y'all see it. So this one has more of a, um, I want to say a gray and gold. As you can tell, it's really pretty. Lots of color playing that one. Love that. And it was like I said, it was just a dollar. I remember that because I was like, what? They're saying just a buck? This is crazy. Okay. And this one, again, beautiful, almost ocean like colors. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I hope you guys are seeing this good because I cannot see what I'm showing you. I have you down so close to the table so you guys can see everything properly. Okay, and then the last one is this really fun rainbow colored one that I picked up. Uh, let's see, let's see if I can open her up. Here we go. Here's a rainbow colored one. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Really, really pretty rainbow color. So I got two of those. And again, it was just a dollar. You can't go wrong with that, right? Not for a buck. Then, um, most of the stuff I, I was found in their stationery or their DIY section. So then I saw this underneath their DIY section. And I thought this would be perfect for my dollhouse miniatures. And they are little teapots. Okay. And it's a nice big bag. And they had them in the gold. And they had them in the silver. And I was like, okay, I'm all in. Um, 
they are hollow and underneath if you can see that they're hollow underneath but that's okay all and all I have to just just take off the little top piece and I'm good to go and I can use it for display purposes in kitchens for my dollhouse miniatures so I got those and I picked these up as well because I wanted to make some tassels and I could use those also as charms don't do that Frank I can use these also as charms on my purse Frankie, you don't do that to your brother. Okay. I see, you know what? Then I got these really pretty earrings. It kind of reminded me of like a mermaid earring. And they are made out of um, super lightweight, uh, super lightweight uh, metal. So they feel almost like nothing, which is really nice. But they're really pretty. I was like, wow, those are cute. So let me put these back inside here before I lose them. Because so i got to throw them back inside this black bag so I can take them upstairs and put everything away. And these, again, I think were like a dollar or two. Maybe a dollar or two. I just thought that they were so pretty. Because most of the stuff I pick up is usually a dollar or two. Um, I know for like the little teapots, I think these might have been three or four dollars each. And that was well worth it. Then I got this really big brass charm um, bag with bigger, chunkier charms. Uh, crazy. The look has the binoculars. You got bee. You got nautical. You got leaves. Look, you got a little monkey. You got an octopus, and this is just a few things that popped out. You got a car there. You got a little snake. Um, and there's more. There's bigger and chunkier pieces in here uh, that I could be showing you. Look at that. That's like a medical one right there. If you can see that well, it's like a medical one. Um, and then I'm going to show you just like just one more, but there are other ones. Look, there's the, oh my gosh, look at that. There's even a, uh, oh man, this bag is good. Look, there's a storybook right here. Look at that, and it opens up. Look at that. That is charming in the little mushroom. Look at that mushroom. Look at that mushroom. And they have a lot more other goodies in here. So that's just what came out. This was a really nice find. Um, I didn't know that they were going to be nice, this nice and chunky. So I'm very happy with this purchase. Then the next thing that I got were these towards my jewelry making. And I got these threaders because I'm going to be doing um, some sewing. So I got these threaders. And then I picked up this necklace. I thought it was really cool looking. Um, it has the black chain and then it has the uh, spider. I do have a really cool spider ring that I got from Shein and I'll probably rock them both together. So this is, I thought that this was really cool looking, especially when I wear like all black. I haven't been wearing black a lot lately. I've, I, I donated a lot of my black items and I needed to buy more. Just standard black clothing. Then I found these. I'm going to show them both together. These two necklaces. Yeah, these were the only two colors I got from these necklaces, I think. And I thought that they were just so pretty. So let me show you what they look like. They're like a, I don't know if they're like real stone or if they're made out of resin. I'm not sure. They're not resin. It doesn't feel, yeah, it feels like stone. Let's not hit each other. Mama's watching. Frankie, keep your hands to yourself. You guys, I'm outside with my boys. So I got to keep an eye on them as well. But look how beautiful that is. You see that has this rainbow color. Noah, don't do that to Frankie. Look how beautiful that is. And then it has the uh, gold. And it comes on the faux um, leather. So it had three colors. And these are the two colors I picked. Because these were not cheap. I think these were like 3 or $4 each. But I thought that they were just so pretty and unique. And I thought this one lend itself beautifully to like um, autumn. So I could wear this probably yeah, all through know. autumn. See that? So it depends on which side that you want to rock it on. The colors are a little bit different. A little bit more vibrant. It just depends on what side you want to rock it on. But I thought they were so pretty. Okay. 
Okay. Then this one was just like this. I, I picked this one out because I wanted to get some pink. Like some of the pink stone color. So I got it. And it has like pretty pink on it with the, with the uh, green and the clear. And then it has a nice wire wrap. So I thought that that was really pretty. And it's nice and chunky. It's not a little piece. This is nice and chunky. So I was really digging that. Let me put these back inside the bags. Like I said, if I don't do that, then they might not ever make it back inside the house. Because that's just what happens with me. Until I can put them into their drawers and their respective housing where they're supposed to go. Okay. There we go. Again, I love it when I can order cute stuff, interesting pieces right online. Have them sent to my house and I don't have to leave or go anywhere. Love that. Absolutely love that. Okay. And then I was able to find this. So this is a kit. Um, it's not a kit, but it's a nice big, uh, big uh, bag that had all these different findings um, for closures. And it all came together, as you could tell. So this one has the three different themes, as you can tell. Um, this one has the flowers and then a nice toggle with the flower. This one has the heart with the toggle. And then this one, um, ooh, my little bag is about to fly away. Then this one, um, it's just a little bit more on the simpler side, as you can tell. But this was at a really good price. I could never get all of these toggles and clasps for the price that I paid. Because when I saw the price, I was like, you get how many? You get all of that for what? Yeah, I had to get it because I have a feeling that I'm going to be inside a lot and I'm probably going to get back to jewelry making and those type of things. Okay, we're almost done, you guys. We're almost done. I did get this little set in two different colors for my dollhouse miniatures. It comes with the little spatula and the little um, pan with the egg. And these are earrings, but I just take them out of their packaging and I use them for dollhouse miniatures. So... I got two of them because I thought that that was a cool deal. Then um, I did get two packages because this is underneath the DIY. They do have the earrings that come like the drinks, okay? They do. But I got them as a DIY and they were cheaper to get two bags than getting a couple of earrings and then taking them apart. So if you can see this one has, well, I'm going to leave them in here because these are glass. This one has like the kiwi type of look or the um, lime lime drinks and then this one has oranges see that so I got those all really great prices for my dollhouse miniatures and here's another set put in silver towards my crafting for miniatures and jewelry and then I found these these um, spoons and they're just like very detailed spoons and I thought that this would look really cool in my dollhouse miniatures on a wall in a kitchen I wish they had the forks and the knives but they didn't they only had spoons so I'm gonna keep an eye out to see if they come out with the other variations because that would look really cool in a miniature kitchen and then these are the last two items that I got and these are from the stationery um, you know, they send out random, random items. I was hoping I would get the, um, paintings, but this is the one that I got and I already pulled it out. So I kind of messed up that one, but these are stickers and, um, they have like these different looks to them, these little florals. So these will be nice behind pictures or what have you. So I'll be able to do a few things with these, including like making little trays with underneath put some wood underneath and then putting this on top and making little handles it'll look really cute in dollhouse miniature like a tray or something um there's lots of possibilities of things that you can do with things like this um because the the print is so tiny it's perfect for dollhouse miniature so i was a little disappointed but then i was like you know i can still use it then this is the last one right here and i haven't even opened it as you can tell I'm going to open her up with you guys right now. And this one, they should be like stickers as well. And they, they came like this. Normally these are random. So you don't get to choose what 
you know, what you get. They're just random. But let's see. So they look like that. So you pull it out. And let's see what I got. Because I haven't even looked at this. So these have sayings on them, obviously. I wasn't too sure. It says stay. It says stay and live together. That's what it says. Stay and live together. All right. I don't know if I'll be able to use these or not in my miniatures. I bought these because, again, they sent them randomly. So then this one looks like that. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to use these from miniatures. I'm going to have to use these. As, um, yeah, no, I'm not going to be able to use these for my miniatures. This one I probably could if I cut around it. Yeah, because you never know what you're going to get when they say random. So these are, this is probably one of the ones that I would have been like, no, don't give me that one. Um, but you get little things like this. And these feel more like what you would call vellum. It's like the little plasticky vellum. That one's really pretty. I could cut that and make that into a dollhouse miniature picture. I can cut that easily and put that into a, a little frame. And this one as well. That one I could cut out, no problems. But they're very pretty. They're all a little different. I hope you guys can see them. Because I'm trying to look at them as I'm going through them with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm discovering it as well. And that is everything, you guys. So those are all the little the little doodads that I bought. Um, the little different types of piece things that I thought I could use for my hobbies. And the things I enjoy doing. So I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay.